Lights can be found on Journey's Infinity album. It's in the key of D major and it has all those really cool blues licks in there, those traditional blues licks. So let's take a look at these. D major. And the entire riff is based around this portion of the D. So if you're playing D major here, use your pointer finger. So here's D. There's the major third. So you're playing the major third along with that portion of the that portion of the D major right there. And you'll see that the way that this works is really cool because you can you can play the ninth fret and the seventh fret on the G string. Do the same thing on the D string. And you can do the same thing on the A string. And it wants to resolve back to the D. So the intro riff he starts off on the 7th fret of the A string and he hammers on to the F sharp at the 9th fret and then he plays that portion of the D major so you get this. Uses his pinky up here to play the 9th fret on the G string. Then he's going to play D minor 7. Usually the jazz guys play it like this, but you're going to play it like this. And again, pinky reaches up there on the 9th fret of the G string. And then he's going to go back and he's going to play the... Um, the beginning riff in D major using the pinky again. Slides down to A major and he's going to use the third fret on the B string to suspend that A. Then it's going to come to B minor except you're going to play a B minor 7 so lift the pinky off and you get this. He uses the pinky to suspend that on the fifth fret of the B string. Then he's going to play C major and again, use the pinky to suspend it on the 6th fret. And then back to the riff in the D major. Now the solo, you're going to play in... The whole thing is in a pentatonic, except for uh, two exceptions. The whole thing is in a pentatonic, but you're not playing in D minor. You're playing in D major. So if you're playing D minor pentatonic, it looks like this. But the relative minor to D major, since we're in D major, is actually B. It's three half steps down. One, two, three. So now you can play the pen. Or I'm sorry, in B major, B minor. So if you play the pentatonic in B, and notice how you're backing up against the D. See? So it's uh, it's actually a cool way to use the pentatonic if you're not familiar with that. The intro run starts here. It's a little off timing too. Uh, if you tap your foot or you break out the metronome and you can find out right where that beat comes in, you'll be able to feel it. And he's just going to go right up that pentatonic. And here he's going to slide to the 11th fret. And then, and then he's going to take the 12th fret and bend the whole step. See, it's got a lot of those little blue slides in there. Then he's going to play the 10th fret on the E string and bend it a whole step. And then the next riff is going to start, remember your pentatonic right here. Right, you can hear it right there, it just goes right down the pentatonic. So you're going to have the 7th fret on the E string, then 10th fret B, 7th fret B. Then you're going to take the 9th fret on the G and you're going to bend it up to the B and release it. 7th, 9th fret on the D, back to the 7th. Right, so you get this. Then you're going to slide up here into the uh, the ninth fret of the D string, seventh. Then you're going to bend the ninth fret of the G, and then you're going to play the seventh fret on the B string together with the ninth fret on the G string because those are gonna, they're going to be the same note when you bend the ninth fret up. Then a really cool part of this solo, he's going to slide it back up into this position here, and he's going to play. But he's going to bar right here, so you're playing the 10th fret on the E string and the B string, but you're going to hammer on and pull off on the 12th fret on the B string, so you get this. And then he's going to go 10th or 12th fret on the G, which actually changes right there to, uh, he gets an extra little added major note in there, which is real cool. The riff that he plays right here, this little run, um, it's a finger exercise where you're going to go up three, down two, one, two, up one, down two, one, two, up one, down two, one, two, up one, down two, up one, down two, up one. And he 
he does a little hammer on and pull off there on the ninth, on the seventh ninth, and slides down to the fifth fret on the A string. So you get this. Then he's going to change to D minor for just a quick second here, and if you've got the pentatonic, right, and if you slide the pentatonic up, you get this. So he's going to bend this a whole step, and then, and then when he plays the 13th fret, he's going to go a half step up, because that's major third in D. And then this is D right there. Then this next riff is going to slide into it at the 16th fret on the G string, 15th fret B string, 17th fret B string, and then he's going to slide up to the 19th fret on the B string and he's going to bar right across the, the 17th fret on the E and the B again. And same thing that you did down here, he does it right here. Except now he's going to push up the B string so he gets so it's like this. But he's doing that while he's barring here. Whoops, right here. And you want to try to get all that. There you go, like that. Wow, not working for me right now. And that's a solo from life.